so glad to see that Chloe's okay. And after wandering around for a month up there and got in before all the snow uh, started falling in the last 24 hours, look at this site. Uh, we had autumn start officially on Saturday and Mother Nature just flipped the switch. Cloudy skies, rain, temperatures only in the 40s for us today. Some clouds up in the high country, still a little bit of light snow left at, left at Loveland Ski Area, but a lot of this has melted off. Uh, some of that which we had last night and uh, earlier in the day, but at this point, we've only had highs in the upper 40s here for the Front Range, 50s across the Eastern Plains, 50s and 60s for the higher elevations where we saw a little more sunshine today. But there will be rain continuing tonight. It's going to be a wet Monday as well. We'll have 60s and 70s showing up by the end of the week, though. So things will start to turn around a little more slowly than what we're used to, though. We'll continue to hang on to that rainy, cool air here all the way in through tomorrow as well. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s right now, not only from City Park, but out across the plains. We have 30 up into the higher elevations of the foothills and the mountains, but still rain and snow coming down here off to our west. That big batch of rain across the eastern plains is now pushed out of the state for the most part, but we're going to see more moving in for tomorrow. So right around Denver, we still have that drizzle that's been hanging around long kind of foggy, misty conditions. A little bit of heavier rain out here toward Boulder and back up toward Idaho Springs, a mix of snow and rain. And then we also have the same just west of Estes Park and Red Feather Lakes toward Walden also and then we also have a freeze warning and everything's shaded blue here out toward Craig and Steamboat Springs down toward Rifle so if you have anything that may be vulnerable tonight with a freeze warning be sure to take it inside we also have another freeze warning here through tomorrow morning around Alamosa as well down to our south as for our hour by hour forecast really not a lot of fluctuation in temperatures tonight we'll stay in the 40s we've gone from highs in the 40s to lows in the 40s and we'll stay in the 40s through tomorrow morning topping out in the low 50s tomorrow afternoon with those clouds and rain showers. We'll have cloudy, rainy conditions tonight, overnight lows in the low 40s. The bus stop forecast for tomorrow, 45 degrees to start out. Then we'll have 54 going home, clouds and scattered showers showing up for us. Now, as for highs tomorrow around the front range, we have 57 for Greeley, 54 for Denver, 55 for Boulder, and 56 for Fort Collins with those cloudy, rainy conditions. This will be by 6 a.m. tomorrow, right along the front range. We continue to see that moisture spreading out across the plains. This will be by 930, even some snowfall up to the west into the foothills. Here in Denver by lunchtime, still rain around Denver and across the plains, and we still see it spreading out across our area into 430 in the afternoon for your commute home as well. Pretty quiet for the western half of our state, though. So we'll be at 54 tomorrow, 62 by Tuesday, and 65 by Wednesday. We'll stay in those upper 60s, low 70s here through the end of the week, and then low to mid 70s for Saturday and Sunday with sunshine on the way. That's a little more normal for this time of year, but like I said, we just started fall and it just changed like that. It yeah. fell. The it temperatures fell. fell. Uh -huh. I feel like winter is already knocking. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you, Stacey. Sure. Thanks, Stacey.